What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 67 of Onshape. What we're going to be using today is the wrap feature. Now, I've never actually had a moment to use the wrap feature. I kind of knew what it would do, but then I, I came across an issue of what's how do, how do I model a barrel cam? And then I had an aha moment. Let's use the wrap feature. So how does a barrel cam differ from our other tra traditional cams we've done so far? Is that a barrel cam does a translational motion along the axis of rotation. So most cams we've done have done a translation motion where it's perpendicular, or in, a, in our case, a usually up and down, and our rotational axis is usually in the x direction. This allows us to have a sliding motion uh, rather than a up and down motion. Let's make one. Sorry, so let's go ahead and hop over to our uh, new part studio, our design, and let's click on sketch and let's create the cam. So the first thing I'm going to hit C for circle, and we're going to dimension this to some depth of what we want. So if it depends on where you want your motion to be, I'm going to do two inches here. And then we're going to extrude this to a depth of, let's do it symmetrically, for four inches. So I've got a two inch diameter and a four inch height, and we're actually going to use those numbers here in a moment. Let's hit right click, let's do offset plane, let's bring this on up. Do we have an offset plane that is above the cylinder where our barrel cam is gonna be here in a moment? We can go ahead and make our other working planes invisible so that way we don't get in the way of other things. So let's click on sketch, plane one, and let's draw a rectangle, specifically a center point rectangle and give it the dimensions that would be the dimensions if we were to take this sheet and kind of wrap it around a cylinder. We want it to be as close to that, that wrap uh, around the side body of the cylinder. So the height here is gonna be four inches because we have a four inch cylinder. And our width is gonna be, you have to think about back to geometry class. So the circumference of a circle is two pi r but our dimension is in for the diameter. So we're gonna do pi times D. So we're gonna do 3.14 times two. And this give us, will give us a, dis, uh, a dimension, I kind of think of as a blanket that we're gonna to use to wrap around our cam. Everything's looking good so far. What I'm gonna do next, is I'm gonna go ahead and select all four of these lines and right click and make them construction lines. Because we want just this profile, we're not actually gonna use all of it though. Here's where your, your, your cam needs are gonna be met. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a line and this is gonna represent kind of the top line of my cam. So wherever my cam starts and wherever my cam ends needs to be the same when we wrap it around. If you have an offset line, something like this, this point doesn't start down here and so your cam is not gonna match up. Okay, I want a nice gentle up and down motion for my cam, so I'm just gonna do a triangle there. Let's pretty it up a little bit, so if we want to, we can actually make this equal to this. Nice and good, and trim this up just a little bit. Okay, looking solid so far. There's a couple ways you can kind of uh, augment this. I'm just gonna highlight all of this top of my profile of my plane, copy and paste, and then just throw it in right next to or underneath. And there we go, looks good. As far as our distance in between, this is gonna be kind of a, there's gonna be a window of tolerance for our dowel rod. So my end of my automata foot right here has got a certain uh, dimension to it. I think it did three eighths of an inch. So that means I know the path of my, of my barrel cam needs to at least be three eighths of an inch thick. 
but let's give it a little extra wiggle room. And so we'll do three eighths, let's do a half inch. And so the distance between these needs to be a half inch. You might have a little bit of an issue so we can see that this, the top of my, um, my path right now is above our working plane. Well, let's just give that a dimension and say, well, let's try negative. Well, well let me do negative. Oh, I thought it would let me do negative. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Let's go ahead and delete. Uh, uh, control Z, let's undo that. And let's bring this bottom line down then. If it didn't want me to bring the top line down, let's bring the bottom line down. Not quite enough, let's just do, and there we go, cool. All right, if you noticed, I don't have a complete profile right here, and that's because I need to finish off my end pieces right here. Boom, we have our finished profile. You can clean this up if you want to, if we add a couple of fillets, so I'm just gonna take some of these lines right here, add some fillets to them. Uh, let's give them, let's, let's do a decent radius on that. Let's do a half inch on that fillet. Just to give more of a smooth motion for my cam. There we go. Hit the green check mark and we have the profile path for our barrel cam. And this is where wrap comes into play. Now the sad part is, is that I haven't been able to find out how to wrap a texture. So like a Tootsie Roll wrapper, for example, to wrap a Tootsie Roll image around, but we can wrap a profile. And here's my profile right here. Since it's completed, it, it, it recognizes it as a profile and our target is gonna be the barrel cam. Now it's gonna do it an add, we don't do that, let's do a remove, and then click the green check mark. I have created our barrel cam. You could change that, that depth if you want to, so to give it more of a depth, looks good. You might notice there's something a little back here that we need to fix and address. And that's because I used 3.14 for pi, and not a true number. However, I, I'm gonna discourage using pi because you get into a knife's edge paradox and it's just annoying to try to figure out a resolution too. So instead, we're just gonna click this profile and remove and just take it away. There we go. And we've officially made our barrel cam. Okay, to make this prevent this video from being too long, we're gonna wrap it up here the last thing I'm gonna do is to throw a center circle down the center of my barrel cam, 3 eighths of an inch. That way we have space to throw in our dowel rod for later. And there we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. We've created our barrel cam. We're gonna throw it in our automata in the next video. Stick around, we'll uh, drop that video as soon as I get time. These videos have been super fun. If they have been helpful for you, please like and subscribe and throw down in the comment section what you would like to see particularly. Um, quite honestly, I thought these videos would be more used in my classroom and they never were. However, I found out there's a lot of other classrooms that have started to use these videos more helpful or more aggressively, uh, especially doing some weird side projects. So if there's something you wanna see or help on, just reach out and I'd love to make a video over it. But in the meantime, stick around and uh, just wait for the next video. See you guys.